Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, you might recognize a familiar contraption in the background. This is in fact the multi-item sorter that I posted a few months ago now. I've been reading all the comments and suggestions by people and I have decided that I will make a third version of this contraption just so that it is in a final working state and it doesn't cause any more problems. And also in the future, I will make sure I test these things a lot more so that there's no errors. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay, let me just generally go over the problems that were found with this design. Uh, biggest problem is that shulker boxes with like one or two simple un un stackable items would actually leave the shulker box right over here. And that is a massive problem and breaks the system. And second error was, of course, uh, this whole thing with the rail over here not turning or turning when it was not supposed to and making loops with the hopper mine carts and all that. So what I did was I just rerouted it a little bit to the side and that got rid of that issue. And I also added an on or off switch to the whole system so that you can turn the system off if you need to leave at that moment. So what you do is when this lever is up, the system will run and when you turn it off, it will actually freeze this hopper clock, meaning the system will stop and you can safely leave the game once the hopper minecarts stop running around. And the last thing that people were struggling with is when they rotated the design, the hopper minecarts acted very strangely uh, around here. And I tested this and I tried to fix it. There is a big error where if you rotate this 180 degrees, the hopper minecart comes through and picks up all five items from this hopper minecart. And that is actually terrible because we cannot get enough speed for it to only pick up four items. So I have just decided that instead of trying to fix this error, which would probably take a long time, I've just decided whenever you build this, please don't rotate it. Because rotating when it comes to hopper minecarts is very, very unpredictable. So I would rather you not rotate this design. If you have already rotated this design, like by 90 degrees or 270 degrees, and your minecart gets stuck over here, just replace this glass block with a trapdoor. But if you are still planning on building this, please don't rotate it because there is still another area if you rotate it 180 degrees. As far as I know, rotating at 270 or 90 degrees is actually fine if you put in that trapdoor. All right, so let me just show you how I did these fixes. So first off, to solve that issue with the empty shulker box staying above the detector rail, breaking the system. So the problem was is that whenever the hopper minecart came up onto this detector rail, it would trigger the system to dispense out a shulker box. Now, if the shulker box was too empty, the hopper minecart would take out the items before the comparator would detect the items in the shulker box, which means that the comparator right under this block over here would not detect that there were any items in the shulker box, meaning that the shulker box would be unable to be broken. So what I did was, instead of relying on the detector rail to trigger the shulker dispensing, I just used it straight from the clock. So as you can see where we had the observers pulling off from this lamp, I actually pulled off a note block and built a observer note block tower going all the way up to the top, which triggers the dispenser over here. And that has solved the error. So I've tested it a lot and that should no longer be a problem. And in doing that, I solved that other error that I had before in my second video where a single non-stackable item was causing an empty shulker box to be remaining. So I just removed that extra fix that I added along the side here. So yeah, the second fix was just rerouting the rails like that. And for the off switch, all I did was have a lever over here with a line of redstone going down to a redstone torch like this. And in that case, whenever this is on, the system will run normally and automatically when shulker boxes enter the system and yeah the clock will just keep running but when you turn it off the torch will go on and will keep this line powered well that should cover all the changes and also if you guys have any general ideas for redstone contraptions or survival video ideas or industrial districts or anything like that please feel free to comment them below the video other than that yeah thank you guys for watching this video i have once again put the schematic and the world download in the description and hopefully it works and yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye